Meanwhile, Morgan Ortega is joining us now on the breaking news, former State Department spokesperson and founder of Polaris National Security. Morgan, thank you for joining us. Great news on their release. However, uh, we are learning those hostages, are, the health is in poor condition. It's not surprising, Sandra, after this many weeks, and, and who only knows what type of conditions they were in. We still have, like, probably at least 218 uh, more hostages still, as you saw Admiral Kirby say, at least 10 Americans, um, potentially more. So it remains a, a dangerous uh, st place for these hostages. And, you, you know, the older people, you're very happy that they get out. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about, Sandra, is the at least 20 children, including babies, one-year-old babies, babies who are still in diapers that we know are being held in captivity right now. We have no clue if those babies are getting their diaper changed, if they're getting formula. So please don't allow uh, Hamas dribbling out two hostages here, two hostages there, of some sort of sign uh, that they are changing their ways. These are people that brutally raped and mutilated bodies of mothers of children and beheaded them, burned whole families alive. Yeah. Uh, these are not people that uh, that deserve any sort of praise for letting a couple people go here and there. And the Apparently, some reporters today were shown video of some of that evidence a bit earlier today. The description is gruesome. Morgan, another question here about military action. John Kirby said the U.S. is not dictating the terms of Israel for a ground invasion. That counters a little bit some of the reporting over the weekend about the president encouraging them to hold off for now. Uh, but we have been able to see in the past hour or so, uh, the U.S. sent a few military advisors to Israel. I mean, as, as you put that together now, Knowing the assets we have in the region, what are you able to draw from that, Morgan? Well, I think it, it is surprising that uh, Israel has not responded yet. All we know from the reporting is that they've been held off for whatever reason from the U.S. I, I think what, what we can control more uh, is not the Israeli response, but the American response. And in just the past week alone, there have been at least nine attacks on U.S. bases uh, or, or our military facilities, nine in one week, and we have not responded yet. That's from a U.S. perspective. Right. Morgan Ortega is on that for us. Morgan, thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.